right, next question. Decentralized command. Ever thought of how parents ultimately deploy their children into the world and the, the, the parallels? Yeah, and so it, people have been asking me to talk about parenting mm -hmm. since the podcast started, mm -hmm. and I really have been avoiding it. Again, one of the things I was considering was bringing my daughter on, possibly, and I'm not going to do it. And you know, my oldest daughter, she's 16, and I was thinking to myself, if I was on a video or a recording when I was 16 years old, mm -hmm. I would not want to hear that. <laughs> I would not want to be that. You know, you just wouldn't want that. So I'm not going to do that to my daughter, even though she's super mature, smart, articulate. It would definitely be interesting, but but I'm not going to subject her to that kind of environment. Mm -hmm. And the other, the other reason I don't want to talk about parenting very much is because my oldest kid is 16. I have no idea if I've been successful or not. I don't. I mean, doing great in school, great. That's cool. But I need another 10 years before I can pass judgment and actually maybe even more than that because what, if they're successful or not. Because, okay, if they're successful, well, what's success? That they got into a good college, that they got a good job, that they have lots of money, that they have kids, spouse, house, cars, whatever. What if, but at the same time, what if they have all that, but they're miserable? Right. Because that happens all the time. I meet people like that all the time. Yeah. They got a bunch of money. They're not successful because they're, they're angry. They're upset. They're depressed. Their life sucks. Mm -hmm. So was I a good parent if I drove them into that position? Right. Maybe not. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't like to, I don't want to talk about something that I'm not feeling super confident about because I can't pass judgment yet. Right. I can tell you my opinion, but even that, I don't want to influence you and I don't have facts. Yep. Yep. You know, I can tell you about leadership because I've been in leadership positions, hard ones, and I can talk with at least some, some level of confidence that what I'm saying is true because I've seen it. Yep. And I've seen it in the military and I've seen it in the civilian world. And I've seen it on teams. I've seen it in a bunch of different places. So I have a pretty good feeling about it. Mm. Parenting, like <laughs> it's, it's just... It's just a little bit different because I don't know because there's definitely a different interaction. Now, and for everyone that's been waiting this entire podcast, <laughs> here it comes. That being said, <laughs> you do absolutely have to use decentralized command with your kids because you're not going to be there for every decision that they make. You're not going to be there every time they get past a drug to snort or every time they've had some alcohol and they need to drive somewhere or... Every time they stumble into a bad situation or they see someone participating in something that's wrong or they see someone perpetrating a crime and maybe they could do something to stop it, you're not going to be there all the time. So just like decentralized command, you have to set them up. You have to put a, you have to give them guidelines mm -hmm. that they're going to take out there. Commander's intent. They've got to understand right and wrong. They've got to understand long-term goals. They've got to understand consequences. They've got to understand accountability for their actions. Mm -hmm. And they've got to understand, and I think this is one of the most important things to keep, teach kids, is they've got to understand how what they're doing today is going to affect their lives in five years, in three years, in 10 years, in 15 years. Mm -hmm. The things that you're doing today, and some adults don't even get that, unfortunately. Yeah. That what you're doing today is gonna affect you long term. And there were some times, you know, where I slid into that, you know, where you're in the SEAL teams, you just don't think it's gonna last forever. Mm. You know, so you're just gonna do what you're gonna do. Mm. And I, so that, that's commander's intent. That's giving your subordinate leadership, which is your kids, the yeah. understanding, of, just like Mao said, the understanding of why they're doing what they're doing, why their health matters, why their education matters, why respecting people matters, why creativity matters, all these different things, explaining them why so that they understand so that when they are out there and they have to make a decision, they have to, they have to choose that they understand why the decision matters and therefore they can act appropriately. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what you have to do as a parent who is in fact leading your children through life, yeah. whether you like it or not. Yeah, and then and the, I, I think that that's... Boom. A, a good, <laughs> that's a good move. Not getting... 
too deep into specific things about how you specifically parent because they're like is there even such thing as perfect parenting everyone like everyone's desires for the, the way their kids turn out is different some people want their you know their kid to be this free spirit travel yeah. the world don't get nailed and don't guess go what to that college. kid's gonna do gonna join the military at 18 right well that depends they're gonna rebel right potentially yes <laughs> so yeah that depends and and i think that the the um Oh, back to what you were saying about like some even some adults don't know the, the consequences of your actions. That's that goes on the, in the front of your brain here, and that's the last part to develop as a human being. It's the last part of your brain. That's why, that's why like teenage boys, especially right, teenage 16, 17, 18, they get equipped with basically all the hardware, but the software, the part that controls it, is all jammed up. So they're physically strong. They got hormones. They got a driver's license. Probably they have rights now, right? So they go off and they're just. Psh, basically shooting off their guns with no you know no you know you know whatever the software is to yeah you know so they that's when they make mistakes that's why they make all these these crazy mistakes with their fr- easily influenced through friends because the part of their brain that that helps um determine okay this ac- this consequence is going to come along with this specific action is underdeveloped and on average and it gives you know it's give or take but on average it gets fully developed at about 24, 25 years old. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It absolutely does. So that's as, as far as decision making. So, so yeah, that, and that, that pr- probably explains why dealing with teenagers becomes harder because yeah. they have all this hardware and the software is still trying to be updated. Um, but back to the perfect parent thing, there's no real perfect parent. People want different things for their kid and everyone's different. Everyone has different philosophies. Do I spank them? Do I not spank them? I read this, I read that. So the outcome is going to be different and those different outcomes are going to appeal to different people. Yeah. So it's basically like if you have a specific outcome that you want your kid to have, it's going to be determined by a bunch of things. But I think in my in my experience and both being a parent and having parents, so to speak, um, is consistency. Like if you, if you have a message or, you know, some kind of discipline that you're imposing or some kind of just idea that you want to, you want to to stick with your kids, be consistent on it. Don't, you know, don't say, Hey, no jumping on the bed one day. And then the next day you don't feel you're lazy, you're tired or whatever. And you don't say, Hey, don't jump on the bed. Cause they're going to be like, Oh, well, is this the day I can jump on the bed or is it not? I want to jump on the bed when you're not looking. Guess what I'm going to be doing? Cause I know that's not when you say, but if you're no jump on the bed, jump, no jump. On the bed, they're just going to say, okay, there's no jumping on the bed. Cause they're going to be influenced by somebody. They're going to get rules and how do I act? How do I be? What do I say? What don't I say? They're going to get that from somebody. And if you're all inconsistent, you might as well just be noise on the TV that comes on sometimes. If you're inconsistent with it, they're going to get it from, I don't know, someone who's more consistent. That could be the neighbor. That could be TV. That could be the kid that they look up to in school who's not very smart or maybe is smart. I don't know. There's a teacher, you know, the drug dealer, whoever. They're going to get it from somewhere. So I think if you be consistent, they'll get it from you. And the more things that you that are conducive to their success in whatever, whatever you consider success the more, or success, the more consistency you display in regards to those things. Because you know the outcome. You know the outcome that they want. You know that if they act a certain way, it's going to facilitate this certain outcome. You know that. Or you should. I hope, yeah, I hope you do. So if you just can remain consistent on those issues to shape that, yeah, that's when it's going to work. Th- I'm going to throw one more wrench into your system. <laughs> I was kind of agreeing with what you're saying, but I just want to throw this out there for everybody. If you got kids, in my opinion, your kids are not going to be who you want them to be. They're going to be them. Mm-hmm. And that is the biggest hurdle to get over mentally. I had to get, I, did, I thought that the kids were going to be what I wanted them to be. <laughs> but guess what? They're not. They're going to be what they are. They're humans, and I got four kids, and every one of them is completely different from the other one. Yeah. They all came from me, yeah. but they're all, and they all got raised with the same me yeah. and my same wife, yeah. and yet they're all radically different. Yeah. Why is that? It's because they're different humans. And so if you try and impose your vision on your kids, it will not be successful. Yeah. And they will have a meltdown at some point. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. Yeah. But that's my opinion. And I am not an expert on parenting. Yeah. And I don't want to 
uh, people to uh, obey my thoughts on parenting. But I got asked the question, so I answered it, <laughs> yep. and I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, that's true. It's, and so much has to do with their environment. In fact, it's, it's, yeah, so much has to do with their environment. So where each kid, like, let's, okay, you have four kids, right? The first kid coming you know coming into the world and boom i'm yeah, the, first it's the first kid. born the psychology and all this yeah, stuff that's but it. That's... and i'm not even saying necessarily i'm not going to go into the psychology part of it i'm just saying boom that's a different experience all together being the second kid same thing he has that one kid and then all these little kids behind him you know so it's just you're just all, right out the gate you're a different person you yes. know so that's where you're gonna see all, all these crazy different personalities we, hey, we were born we were raised in the same house same parents my parents were the same the whole time but just starting out it's like you ever you ever you ever see Price is Right that game, um, or the game show Price is Right. Remember old school Bob Barker? I think it's somebody else now. Anyway, oh, okay. there's a game called Plinko, and it's this this. Is this a long explanation? <laughs> <laughs> it's a game called Plinko where it's like this board, right? And at the end, it's are these little slots, and you drop this kind of this. It's not a ball; it's like a little puck that kind of goes, but. I get the image. It's like these pins, so it goes beep, beep, beep. It, it, it randomly just go. Mm -hmm. It'll go through this, and you can kind of—I forget if you can control it or not. You can't. But yeah, so as just a parent, like you, control you can control the board, but there's so many different little things that it can hit and go this way. So if you're consistent and just consistently push yeah. one direction, it'll tend to go. But then all this, all these other factors are in play that you can't control. So. It's eventually that's how it is and that's true how, how you say you can't just shape exactly who you want to be nope. in plinko you don't say hey i'm gonna get it in that little slot right there and then it goes there every time it's really hard to do that you know plinko game bro i'm telling you plinko you look into it it's the same thing it's exact plinko parenting Maybe we same need thing to sell jocko podcast plinko boards on here <laughs> see now you've gone too far all right next question be careful with your kids is all I'm saying. Yeah, be and careful. Give be them careful, the be guidance. Consistent. Give them the broad guidance. Yeah. Consistent. That's what you want to give them. Why health matters, why education matters, why respect matters, why creativity matters. Let them understand why so that they can make their own decisions because they are their own people. It's a true story. 